Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack. I'm the founder here at Scenarius. We're a marketing agency that helps e-commerce brands set up effective campaigns on Facebook and Instagram. And in this week's video, we're going to look at what sort of audiences you can target on Facebook, both warm and cold audiences. We're going to look at the differences between these two. And I'm actually going to show you a tool that you can use that will help you find the best cold audiences you can target. Uh, for your brand. So first we'll start by defining what a warm audience is and what a cold audience is. I'm sure many of you have experience with Facebook ads so you might know what these terms refer to. Um, but essentially a warm audience refers to an audience of people on Facebook and Instagram that has already interacted with your brand one way or another. That audience could represent people who have previously liked or followed your Instagram page it could represent people who have simply visited your website and you're able to track those audiences using the Facebook pixel that's probably already in installed on your website. It, all, it can also even represent smaller audience batches like people who have added an item to the cart in the last, let's say, two weeks or 14 days. Um, it can also represent people who have seen your ads in the past or interacted with any of your posts or engaged with them on Facebook and Instagram. So essentially you're targeting people who have one way or another shown interest in your brand or product. Um, and typically speaking, you typically see much better results um, on warm audiences that you do on cold audiences because as you can imagine, those are people who have already interacted with your brand so they've shown some sort of interest. So a few other examples of what warm audiences could be is also your email list as a brand. Um, you can actually upload that same email list onto Facebook and what Facebook will do is match each email to a Facebook profile and you can target those people with your advertising. Another list that you could use is actually your customer list. So if you're creating a new offer or you actually want to advertise a new product launch, you can upload your existing customer list so people who have already bought from your brand um, and use that audience to target that on Facebook. And you can imagine how effective that can be. So how do you actually create some of those warm audiences that we talked about? So I'm gonna jump into the ads manager and just show you how you can create a custom audience and base it around whether someone has visited your website in the past, interacted with your Facebook page, or even was part of your either your email list or your customer list. So once you're on the ads man manager page right here, this is just one of our client accounts. Um, what you want to do is you want to click on business tools right here and then you have this audiences tab right here. Once you click on that, you're going to be able to see all of the audiences that you've created in the past. In order to create a warm audience, so again, people who have already interacted with your brand, you want to click on create audience, custom audience. Once you click on that, Facebook is going to give you a number of options as you can see here and you want to click on the one that you want to create. I suggest if you're just starting to do this, you want to create one, one audience for every single um, type of warm audience that you have. So one audience is gonna be the people who have visited your website, let's say in the last 180 days. Um, the other type of audience you wanna create is customer list. Again, the two main lists that you wanna work with is the email list that you have, um, as well as your customer list. One really important tip when you're creating customer list is you wanna to try to export the customer list that you have from Shopify along with the do dollar value for each single customer. You'll have the customer and how much they actually spent on your website. And what that will allow you to do later on, uh, further down the line, is actually create lookalike audiences based on how much people spent on your website. And if you're not familiar with lookalike audiences, it just essentially means is Facebook is going to study the people who have you, you've uploaded within your customer list and then they're gonna look at what under, underlying patterns there are between those people and then find similar audiences on Facebook that have those similar traits. And if you have the dollar value there, they'll actually be able to target people who have spent more or similar people who have spent more uh, on your, on your e-commerce store. So that's really, really powerful stuff. Um, the next type of audiences you definitely wanna create is people who have interacted with your Instagram account and your Facebook page. You can also, if you create a lot of content on Facebook and Instagram, you can actually create audiences based on people who have watched a particular video of yours uh, that you've uploaded on your Facebook or Instagram page as well. I'll just show you one example uh, very quickly. So if you click on your website right here, Facebook gives you a bunch of options, include people who meet any or all of the following options. You have the pixel installed, so you're able to target all website visitors in the last, let's say, 30 days. I think Facebook gives you um, a maximum of 180 days to protect 
uh, data privacy laws. See here, maximum time is 180 days. Create this audience, you just name that. Make sure to name it something that you're, you're obviously going to be able to refer to. So website, website visitors, 180 days. Um, and then you'll be able to use that audience, to, use this specific audience when you're creating a campaign within the ads manager. So now that you guys have seen how to create warm audiences and you're able to target those people um, with your Facebook and Instagram advertising, what will happen eventually is the people who are already visiting your website, the people who have added an item to cart, even your email and customer list, you're going to be targeting those people and they're going to, the audience is going to get saturated essentially with your ads. That's when we want to start considering running ads to cold um, audiences. And what I mean by cold audiences, as I defined it earlier, it's just people who have not heard of your brand or interacted with it before. Um, similar to warm audiences with cold audiences, you have a few options on what you can do with cold audiences on Facebook. The most obvious one and probably the one that's most commonly used these days on Facebook is lookalike audiences. Now I described briefly what lookalike audiences are, I'm not going to go into them in too much detail, but essentially what you can do is based on the current audiences that you have or that you've created your warm audiences, you're able to give Facebook that data and Facebook will look at underlying patterns and find audiences who have a lot of similarities to the people who, are, who you're already targeting or who are already interested in your brand. So the other option that you have uh, when it comes to cold audience targeting is obviously targeting people based on what they've shown interest in on Facebook and Instagram. So Facebook gives you a lot of options that you can target. You can tar target people based on very general interests like fitness, beauty, uh, but those typically don't work as well as targeting more specific interests like people who liked a certain page um, that's more specific. Now when, you, when you're targeting those types of audiences, theoretically you have an unlimited number of audiences that you can target, so it can be a little bit difficult to figure out what audiences are likely to be interested in your product, um, interested in your product essentially. So what I want to show you is Facebook has a tool called the Audience Insights tool, and I'm actually quite surprised to see that not many people use this or know about it. Um, and it makes it takes the guessing work essentially out of trying to find new cold audiences for for your brand. Um, so I'm going to jump into the Ads Manager again, and I'm going to show you how you can actually use this Audience Insights tool to look at what sort of what sort of uh, Facebook pages are people within your audience likely to like, and then you can target those Facebook pages in your cold campaigns to find which sort of audiences resonate with your products. So once again, from your ads manager right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on business tools again, um, but instead of going to the general audiences tab, you wanna scroll down all the way to um, analyze and report, and you wanna go to audience insights right here. Again, this is a tool that I don't see many people using, even when I take over client accounts, they're usually unaware of this tool, but this is really, really powerful stuff. Essentially what the Audience Insights tool is, is it allows you to look at what sort of, first of all, it gives you demographics and data on the type of, on the audience that you already have that's connected to your page, uh, but it also gives you the ability to look at how um, different audiences who like different pages on Facebook, how, how well connected they are to your audience, and how likely are they to uh, be interested in your products, essentially. So when you, when you want to choose an audience to start, you're going to get either everyone on Facebook where you can just do some general market research, but you, what you want to click on is people connected to your page. And again, this is going to give you insights um, and data based on the actual audience that you currently have, people who have interacted with your page, liked your uh, posts, even visited your website, and so on and so forth. So once you click on, once you click on that right here again this is an example from one of our one of our clients um, in this case this is a beauty brand um, so we're going to look at what sort of interests people have within their audience and then it's Facebook is going to tell us what sort of pages are likely to be interested in our brand and then we're going to be able to target those pages right here so as you can see here with the current targeting that's set you have the location we have United States right here. Um, they also ship to Canada, so we can add that right here. Um, and now we have an audience based on the Canada and the States. In terms of age and gender, they kind of have products that go across the entire range, so we'll just leave it at that. But it's targeted mainly towards women, so we're going to go with women uh, right here. And then as you can see here, just by clicking those, we have the current audience um, 
that it, that's kind of connected to our page. And you can see here that you can actually see you know, different demographic data in terms of relationship status, education level, um, even some job titles that are common with your, um, with your audience, essentially. Um, but what's really, really powerful about this tool is perhaps this tab right here, which is page likes. And this is kind of what's really, really powerful. What the page likes is going to show you is the top categories that people within your audience are interested in. In this case, again, this is a beauty, beauty brand, so some of these shouldn't come as a surprise. Uh, Chic Soul, The Mint Julep Boutique, Dove, Sephora, um, Front Cover. They, they give you different kind of categories based on what people within your audience like, and these come as no surprise. But what's really, really important and what's really powerful is this page likes right here. So essentially what this section right here is telling us is different pages on Facebook and how likely your audience is to like that page uh, compared to a random person on Facebook. And this is essentially what the affinity metric is. So if we read that, how likely your audience is to like a given page compared to everyone on Facebook. So in terms of this first page right here, which is the first in terms of relevance, which is Chic Soul, um, you have an audience size of 2.5 million, which is a little bit too big to target right off the bat. You might want to split that up using some more targeting, but you can see the affinity here is 18 times. And what that's telling us essentially is people who have interacted with our brand are 18 times more likely to like Chic Soul than you know, everyone on Facebook essentially. And you can see here that you have a bunch of suggestions and you know, this, this goes down quite a bit and you can see a bunch of these kind of pages and you're actually gonna be able to target people who have liked those pages. So not all of them, depending on the size of the page, but for, exam for example, if we take this page right here, the Mint Julep Boutique, and we add that in terms of our interest targeting. So you can actually add the interests in this section right here. So the Mint. So you can see here that this is actually an interest on Facebook. So you can actually target those same people within your cold campaigns. And again, if we click on that, Facebook will give us more pages based on people within your audience that are also interested in the Mint Julep Boutique. And you can see here that the affinity is, is quite high. Obviously, you know, this is kind of uh, compounded because we've already targeted that interest within our interest targeting. But if we scroll down here, you can see that they've given us a ton more pages based on that specific interest targeting. And you can see how high the affinity is. For example, Laurie's Bell's Boutique, people who like our page, who are interested in our brand, who also like the Mint Julep Boutique are 370 five times more likely to also like this page right here. So again, Facebook is giving you a ton of options in terms of cold audience to target. And what's really powerful here is that they've really taken out the guesswork in terms of what audiences could be interested in the brand. And one thing that's also really important to look at is the audience size right here. As I mentioned, some audiences might be too big to target with one single campaign, and some of them might actually be too small, um, which means you want to bundle them up. So if they're less than, let's say, 100,000, you might want to bundle up some of those audiences for cold campaigns. But you can see here that you can even click see more and you're able to almost scroll endlessly and see what sort of uh, audiences could be interested in your product. And there you have it, guys. This is the a very, very basic overview in terms of what sort of audiences you can target with your paid advertising on Facebook and Instagram as an e-commerce brand. Just to summarize, today we went over the difference, first of all, between warm and cold campaigns or warm and cold audiences, sorry. In terms of warm audiences, again, it's people who have already interacted with your brand one way or another, either by visiting your website, being part of your customer lists, email lists, and you can actually upload some of those lists and create those audiences within Facebook's ads manager and target them in your retargeting campaign. Warm audiences typically outperform cold audiences just because as you can imagine, those are people who are already interested in your brand. But what typically happens is the audience is not large enough to sustain you to sustain your advertising for a long period of time. Eventually you're gonna target all those people and you're gonna saturate that audience. So you wanna look at cold audiences who are essentially people who have never heard of your brand and you wanna target those with uh, advertising to try to turn them into paying customers. In terms of cold audiences, we talked briefly about lookalike audiences, which is kind of the common option that a lot of people try out. 
um, and it's probably the easiest way to start with cold audience advertising. But if you want to get a little bit more advanced and gain access to essentially an unlimited amount of audiences on Facebook, we went over the Audience Insights tool, how to look at the different psychographic and demographic data on your audience, and then use the Affinity tool to see what pages people are more likely to be interested in who are already interested in your brand. And again, that's really, really powerful because you can test a bunch of these audiences with your cold campaigns, test different ads for them, um, and hopefully find a few of these uh, cold audiences that work really, really well with your brand. And again, this is really powerful because you've just introduced a completely new audience to your brand and the, you know, the potential is limitless in terms of the number of audiences you can find that are interested in your products. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did find it valuable, be sure to like the video. Also subscribe for more content like this on paid advertising. If you happen to be an e-commerce brand that's looking to kind of take their paid advertising to the next level and want a legitimate advertising plat uh, partner, what I'll do is I'll leave a booking link in the description where you can book a call with us. It's just a discovery call to help us understand where you're at with as an e-commerce brand. Um, what's your vision moving forward and if things line up we'll show you what we do how we go about running campaigns for our clients and the results we typically get so hope you enjoyed the video and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next one